my daughter Abigail, who's homesick right now, when my wife was pregnant with her, like three, four months, and we got our first ultrasound, the doctors came in the room and said, Mr. and Mrs. Mitchell, we have bad news for you. Your daughter has a massive cyst on her brain. It's leaking liquid down her spinal cord. She's going to be born with some type of mental deformity. She'll never be able to walk probably. She'll never be able to, she'll never be able to, she'll never be able to. And because of where it is, we can't perform surgery. We can't go into the womb. Watch. We're sorry, Mr. and Mrs. Mitchell. There's nothing we can do about this. But because of what I read, I believe. I remember going home and opening my Bible to Isaiah 53. Where the prophet... Where the prophet says, whose report shall we believe? And I took that ultrasound and I laid it on Isaiah 53 and Lena and I got down on our knees and in the middle of our trouble we didn't sit in fear we didn't sit in pride we didn't try to be the God of our own life trouble pushed us into the hands and the word of God and we laid our hands on Isaiah 53 and we cried out for Abigail God, this is beyond our control. And because of what I've read, he may not always come through the way that we want him to. But we got to keep reading and believing that we can touch God and he can restore. And what he did for Abigail in the womb was restore to her her health even before she came out of the womb. But because of what I read, I had believed. And the Lord came into that trouble with my wife and I. He was willing. He got up from the table and walked with us to heal Abby. What trouble are you facing? What do you believe in God for? What has he spoken over your life? He is willing. He is able. He is compassionate. He is kind. He is a healer. And with one touch, he can restore anything that was lost. And even if it doesn't happen in this life, All will be made well in the life to come.